My name is Henk Rowling and I am responsible for building all the animals that pop up around the Orchid Festival and also the different structures. This year we have more animals than ever and that is mainly because we have a group of 20 capucin monkeys. I don't know what I was thinking. I decided to do like a, a tumbling and rumbling group of 20 of them, so they have a real lovely dynamic. We just made two turtles, they are hung and they sort of have a beautiful movement. And then we've got a jaguar, there's two bats, there'll be hummingbirds. There is the Quetzal, which is the national bird of Costa Rica. He looks amazing and all sort of shiny. All the animals that you will find around the glass house are all from Costa Rica. What I usually start with when I do the animal making, it is um, I make a frame out of wire. It's a green fencing wire. It's something that I found in the shed here the very first year that I was making animals. And it's become one of my favorite materials to work with. I cut it into shapes and sort of fold it and twist it together to the frame that we can then just dress with all sorts of different materials. We have some really interesting new materials this year. Uh, some really shiny and some are sort of beautifully natural and all the diversity makes it very interesting. When we started making the Quetzal, so the first thing I did was make the frame out of the wire. Um, and then we ordered in beautiful magnolia leaf. So we had a box full of that. We had to wire every leaf individual, which was a lot of work. I had two helpers, so we spent the whole day wiring leaves. And then we sort of carefully placing them on the frame so that they sort of follow the shape of the bird and make it look like it's proper feathers. The green um, leaves of the magnolia, they fit beautifully with a phlebodium, which is a little fern that we sort of planted in the inside of the tail to give an even more sort of feathery effect. So we spend a full day of attaching them and then sort of finish it off with a beak that's made out of a, a, a leaf that we found here in the glass house. And it's just lovely to be working with like lots of things that you find around the house as well. If you want to make your own animal, which is a fun thing to do, I would really recommend it. Start small. You could do something like a fish, which is an easy shape to do. Google lots of different pictures to get an idea of how it moves and what is characteristic for the animal. Then you can shape your animal and, and really make the shape correct before you start dressing it with your natural materials. You can also use chicken wire, which is much easier to use. The easiest thing to cover with is moss. You can get at your local florist or even collect in the garden, if you have a garden. But yeah, that's a really good one to start off with. The best part about building the animals for the Orchid Festival of Kew is basically the team. We have so many people helping. The whole vibe in the glasshouse is amazing. It is one of the highlights of the year.